Hi everyone, my name is Anton. And today we will look at another interesting board. This is Groove AI V2 from Seed Studio. Uh, we will talk about how convenient this board for computer vision, how fast it, and of course we will compare it a bit with other AI boards. One important disclaimer, this board was sent me for free from Seed Studio. This of course may affect my opinion, but I will try to remain independent in this case. I will start from a small story. A friend of mine about a year and a half ago asked me uh, to help him to create an idea for his startup. And he was super curious about what could be done in a GI. And we were discussing with him and the final idea was almost around the same. How it should look like, like infrastructure and so on. You can actually run a detection model in two click and uh, put the output of this model into MQTT pipeline. MQTT pipeline is a popular message broker for home servers, for some small infrastructural project and so on. So basically this camera will just stream into your server, all detection and stuff like this. And it seemed a very cool thing to me. You can just switch different model from them. Uh, this camera price, like uh, this board is around $15 and the camera around $10 or so. And actually it's pretty cheap for a computer vision board and you don't need to develop anything. This application can just turn your camera into a sensor for a smart home or some smart city application. And how convenient the system is, only time will tell. But in my opinion, and from what I saw, like 20 to 30% of computer vision tasks only rely on detection network. There is no like tracking, no classification, just the detection network. And Usually uh, outputting the result in message broker is the simplest solution that can be built. When this pipeline doesn't work, when you need to implement some additional logic or more complex neural network with different branches and so on. And uh, of course, if you need some complicated post-processing depending on few neural network results, it can't work uh, like one shot. Let me show you how it's work. You press the button to select model and it's loaded directly from browser to your device. There is a button that say upload your model. And here is the tricky part. You can't upload any model, only the detection model and the detection model should be trained especially from YOLO V5N. It seems like it should be specific repository from Seed Studio. I must say that this, this um, script is pretty convenient and it's really work. And in my opinion that it's super simple to train your model just with this pipeline and it will work for you. Let's talk about the limitations. And of course, it's like not the solution that will solve all your problems. And first and obvious one is amount of memory and of course, the size of the model that you can use. The memory installed on Groove 2 AI is two and a half megabytes. And it's pretty small for nowadays models. There is potentially 
an SD flash drive here, but the documentation doesn't say how to use it, and we will return to this a bit later. I didn't find any models larger than two and a half megabytes in examples, so pos probably it's it isn't possible. Model other than original Yolo V5N will require a transfer more complicated than pick a model and uh, push one button in interface. I tried using even a super simple classification model with two outputs like here and but unfortunately through the interface it doesn't work. It seems like it support only detection models. Is it, it possible without this interface with some other way to export your model? Actually, yes. But the tricky part is here is the code for loading an environment and install an environment for developing on this board. Yes, it's a lot of text and actually there is three different scripts like for Windows, for Linux and for macOS. But even for one system this process is a pretty long and I checked it and it not very it's it's like not easy development. Uh, for a lot of systems, this pipeline can be much easier. Like it's hard to debug this. For example, for some other board, it's possible to use Micro Python, but I didn't find any Micro Python example here. Okay, and even after we will install all this environment, let's just look here. This is the code to run Yola V8. And it's not the old code, also you need post-processing, here it is. Also, as you can see, there is a lot of functions and you need to understand how is a camera working here, how is the memory structured, uh, the basic ideas about uh, development for an edge board. And it's pretty complicated, I understand it a bit, but for me it's like it's pretty hard exercise to develop stuff like this. For example, like uh, my previous video was about um, Luck Fox board, this one. It was a bit easier because there is Linux. And here is no Linux and uh, you need to look at all of this command. I haven't found detailed documentation about this process, but I think that for example, for group V1 AI, the, there is a lot of different documentation. It integrated with edge impulse. I am not sure that group AI V1 examples will work here. Interesting question. So, and there is no mentioning about this in documentation. So let's summarize a bit. In my opinion, this board is great with this specific ecosystem around this board and it can solve a lot of tasks. I like the high speed of this NPU and the board performance mm, better than for any previous board with such form factor like Groove AI V1, uh, K210, ESP32 and all other boards. Like and it's super energy efficient. It's like 0 0.3 watt, and it's super cool. In but in my opinion, it it's not great for hard task. Probably for some bleeding edge technologies. So just simple detector for simple events. And for this, in my opinion, especially if you don't understand how to work with computer vision, how to uh, work with edge development, this board is super great. So here it is. I hope you like my review. Probably I will put some additional 
numbers about this board like performance and so on on my LinkedIn a bit later or uh, on my channel. But at this point, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.